Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 10. It's no secret that companies place a lot of value on data with the rise of data-hungry machine learning and AI technologies, and connected data is valued at a premium. Two recent Microsoft acquisitions illustrate this point. Microsoft acquired LinkedIn and GitHub, both at 26 times their revenue at the time of acquisition. LinkedIn owns the largest professional graph in the world, and GitHub owns the largest developer graph. Modern graph technologies allow companies to handle graphs with billions of nodes and connections. Applications like search, identity management, knowledge bases, and recommendation engines rely on graph technologies. For more, listen to a recent Data Exchange podcast episode with Denise Gosnell, Chief Data Officer of Datastax. See thedataexchange.media for details. The U.S. has historically led the world in technology innovation, including in the field of AI, in part by attracting top international talent. However, competition for that talent is fierce. A new paper from CSET explores immigration policies relevant to AI talent in the U.S. and the United Kingdom, Canada, France, and Australia. The paper analyzes temporary work permit visa policies and other policies for foreign-born students, workers in AI-related industries, distinguished AI workers, and AI entrepreneurs. The data suggests that to stay competitive for global AI talent, the U.S. should improve temporary visa options for skilled workers and expand opportunities for permanent residency and entrepreneurs. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 12 for more. A recent salary survey from Hired examined how far U.S. tech hub salaries stretch when compared to the SF Bay Area. The chart shows that your money will go significantly further in cities like Austin and Denver than in the SF Bay Area. The survey also indicated that half of tech talent want to return to the office at least once a week post-COVID, but only 7% report wanting to work there every day. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.